It's a beautiful day as the era of Echoes of Hylia has come to an end. Hi, my name is Nathan Ng, and today we'll be talking about the tier list update for the current patch. With massive changes to Echoes of Hylia and Font of Life, champions lost a bit of power and others regained former glory. But let's not tease you too much. First, let's talk about the high elo picks and then instantly move over to the lower elo equivalent. So, let's take a look at the entire list for high elo. One of the most broken top laners as of right now is the Cat. More specifically, I'm talking about Rangar, and every top laner out there will vouch for the following statement. Playing against Rangar top is one of the most disgusting and infuriating things out there. Are you allowed to move up to a creep, or are you already just within his jump range? Whatever is the case will be found out painfully in an instant, because Rangar is getting towards Duskblade and Essence Reaver. Next to this powerful and independent Cat, we have a lower elo tier list for the top lane. Now, this person looks exactly like Rangar, but he's just on top of a lizard and he's like a smaller version of him. I may be the one that thinks this, but I'm talking about Kled. And what exactly makes him so strong? On one hand, it's about his tankiness through his second HP bar and his ability to remount. On the other hand, it's about damage. Knowing about the following is one of the most important tips that you can get for Kled. Once you reach level 2 or 3 and you're able to put a point into your second ability, don't do it instantly. Wait until you go for a fight against the enemy champion. Otherwise, you'll put the ability on cooldown and the enemy might use a window to trade. As for items, you want to pick up Ravenous Hydra and Eclipse to dominate the game. Have you ever asked yourself after a bad game, what am I missing? Or sought help from impatient friends? Or browse desperately for answers that only bring up more questions? Your self-doubting days are over with Discovery, the first game-focused AI. Discovery is trained on the world's leading esports athletes to be your everyday personal coach. That's right. Discovery can help you improve your gameplay by giving you tips and strategies to take your game to the next level. Get started at ProGuides.com. Now, let's talk about the true criminal of the Rift, junglers. Like before, let's take a glance at the high elo tier list first. Even though Helio was nerfed this patch, Ivern is still gonna be going strong. He's a powerful flex into many roles as of this moment and can itemize into a fully supportive manner or full damage. For this role, we have to go with the supportive build with the core of Shirelia's and Imperial Mandate. The bonus speed provided to his allies as well as the super cheap supportive items turned the champion into an abomination. To add to his brokenness, also comes the following fact. And for that, let's just take a look at our lower elo tier tier list. This champion is busted in high and low elo because he is relatively easy to play but features super strong impact. Our next champion however is going to do the same. And again, this goes for both lists. Rek'Sai is the queen of cheese ganking and making people tilt. Now guess in which elo bracket people tilt the most? Just joking, they tilt in <laughs> every single- it's League of Legends, everybody tilts. Anyway, so you can pretty much imagine what you're going to be doing with them with either Rek'Sai or Ivern. To make it super easy for you, we're also going to give you guys a broken core build for Rek'Sai. Just make sure you pick up Stridebreaker into Black Cleaver and, well, you're set for success. With that being said, let's talk about the next role. For our mid lane and the high elo, we're going all out. However, scan the list for your main first. With the recent buffs to Azir, the champion is unleashed, and many of his one tricks came back from their vacation. Next to this also comes the fact that worlds will happen in a few months, and therefore we'll surely see more buffs arise, Corky and Azir. Who would have guessed that? Especially when facing assassins or other types of hyper-centric champions, the following item will save your butt quite often. The Crown of the Shattered Queen alongside Nashers will allow you to safely DPS enemies while reaping the benefits of your mythic's damage mitigation. With Azir having such a high skill floor and ceiling, we obviously can't just put him high up in the low elo turn list. But you don't have to worry for a single second because we always have the best pick for you. Before we check her out though, you should take a look at this full list first. Anivia is the embodiment of a low skill floor champion and yet a decently high skill ceiling when it comes to utilizing your walls and stunts. Placing down your wall as your Q is midair to make the enemy auto path into your sun is probably the highest mastery they can show off with this champion. To make sure that you'll have plenty of attempts to do so, you should almost certainly pick up Rod of Ages and Archangels. These core items are just way too important for your champion and will guarantee your tower's survival, unless the enemy commits a lot of resources including the Rift Herald to take it down. With milling wrapped up for both, we're now going to be going over to the ADC roll and here we're going to make it pretty easy for you. As already established, we'll start off by looking at the high elo tier list first. Ziggs is an easy to play, highly impactful, and annoying champion that will poke you out before a fight even begins. Next to this, he's also able to neutralize lanes pretty well, as well as able to break freezes on their own. Having access to different build archetypes such as Ludens into Shadow Flame or Leandris into Archangels gives him enough variety when it comes to facing enemies. Assisting him in that way are also features Market and Teleport. Just try denying a Ziggs with the setup, literally mission impossible. Before we unleash the new Moonstone technology onto the Rift, we're going to be checking out the rankings of the low elo tier list first. 
first. The changes to Hylia have lowered the impact of a lot of champions, while leaving pairs that were able to go for either Hylia or Moonstone in absolute joy. The buff to early mid-game Moonstone helps a lot of champions find more footing in the game, as well as allowing them to scale better into the later stages of the game as well, which then in return makes up for the nerf in the late game. Depending on your playstyle, you can either go for Moonstone and other supportive items, or you can go for the damage route. In that case, you'll go for Leandris and Archangels. Afterwards, it's all about supportive items. Now, let's jump to our last update, the support tier. Take a look at the high elo tier list, and then let's talk about Rel for a second. Thanks to the power of Even Shroud and Knight's Vow next to her update, Rel has taken the Rift by storm. She's a very solid pickup and feels very satisfying to play, be it as a support or as a jungler. But one of the most insane things is the price tag of tanky yet supportive items. A lot of the top lane tanks now prioritize super cheap supportive items to then assist their ADCs. It's basically an all-in for an ADC season, again, by the way. For the lower elo list, we're going to be taking a look at Sona and Zyra. With the buffs to Moonstone and the removal of Font of Life's interaction with Hylia, it's now time for all the champions who are able to use both. Given the context of lower elo, it's almost a guarantee that you can get through laning phase without too many issues while playing Sona. Items such as Moonstone and fully supportive items like Ardent, Staff, and Redemption will pave your way to victory. Next to this, we'll finally see some more Zyra. After the buffs, we'll see some jungle Zyra, but here we're going to be talking about support Zyra. With the power of Leandris and Relis, you're going to be able to deal a big amount of DPS, burst, and control alike. This becomes even more powerful when you think about the messiness of fights in lower elo. Just run Comet and Scorch as well and you'll dominate the lane. And that concludes today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and sub to the channel. Looking forward to see y'all in the next video, but until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a wonderful day. Peace.